After Flight 11 stunned NASA with its breakthrough data, Elon Musk confirmed the next evolution. Starship 33. Built for lunar and early Mars missions, this version brings major upgrades in thrust, structure, and heat protection. Each fix is based on real lessons from past flights, pushing SpaceX closer to full reusability and deep space readiness. So what exactly changed after Flight 11? Let's dive right in. After Flight 11 stunned NASA with its breakthrough data, Elon Musk confirmed what many inside SpaceX had been waiting for. The solution, a new Starship unlike anything before. Version three, this is not a minor tweak or a patch. It's the result of years of trial, error, and brutal testing. A complete transformation built from lessons that only explosions could teach. Right after Flight 11, SpaceX engineers spent weeks analyzing thousands of telemetry lines. What they found was crystal clear. Raptor 2 had reached its ceiling. That's when Musk gave the go signal for something audacious. Raptor 3, a complete redesign focused on raw thrust, efficiency, and durability. Each new engine now delivers around 280 tons of thrust, a leap from 230 in the original and 250 in Raptor 2. When you multiply that by 33 engines, the result is staggering. Over 10,000 metric tons of total thrust at liftoff. That's twice the legendary Saturn V rocket, which once defined the word power. Yet Starship Fire 3 does it with reusable engines, a feat NASA engineers privately admitted shouldn't be possible yet. What makes this believable isn't hype, it's design discipline. SpaceX stripped away external plumbing, tucked cables inside sealed housings, and simplified the engine's core systems. Fewer parts, fewer points of failure, faster assembly. Or as Musk likes to say, the best part is no part. Power means nothing if the rocket can't handle it. That's why the new Starship booster, the backbone of the system, has been stretched to 80 meters tall, almost 10 meters taller than before. The goal? To carry 4,500 tons of propellant enough for long-duration burns and interplanetary missions. Inside, SpaceX integrated a transfer tube nearly the size of a Falcon 9 to move supercooled methane to the engine bay. The structure now includes reinforcing stringers, metal ribs that distribute stress evenly through the tank walls, preventing buckling during liftoff. And then came the most daring experiment. During Flight 11, engineers removed sections of heat shielding to test the raw stainless steel body. The results shocked NASA. Even under extreme re-entry conditions, the steel barely showed heat damage. That data changed everything. Instead of coating the whole rocket, SpaceX is now developing a layered hybrid heat shield, combining white felt insulation and black ablative material beneath the tiles, only where it's needed most. The outcome? Lighter, more reliable, and far easier to maintain. Flight 10's fiery explosion exposed one critical weakness the fuel transfer system. It wasn't efficient enough, and under extreme pressure, it failed. For V3, that entire system was rebuilt from scratch. The new fuel lines are thicker, pressure rated, and lined with reinforced composites. Fuel flow efficiency is up by nearly 30%, and ignition precision has improved dramatically. Why does this matter? Because with 33 engines firing in synchronization, even a slight delay could mean disaster. The new design ensures each Raptor lights up at exactly the right millisecond, eliminating the chaotic startup turbulence that doomed previous flights. This is more than safety, it's turnaround speed. With faster fueling, easier inspection, and modular engine design, SpaceX aims to relaunch a Starship within weeks, not months. That pace is what future Mars missions demand. Starship's most dangerous challenge isn't liftoff, it's coming home. Re-entry generates forces and heat that can melt through almost any material. Yet Flight 9 and Flight 11 prove something vital. SpaceX's new ceramic tile system works, and it's improving fast. The secret lies in the new Crunchwrap Gap Filler, which seals micro-gaps between tiles. This innovation stopped heat leaks and kept tiles from popping off under stress. Now for V3, SpaceX is taking the idea further. Each tile layer will include temperature sensors, feeding live data during re-entry, 
Over time, the rocket will literally learn how to protect itself. As one SpaceX engineer said, we don't want a perfect rocket. We want a rocket that gets smarter every flight. This philosophy in adaptive, iterative, data-driven is what makes V3 not just stronger, but intelligent. One of the most controversial decisions in V3 was cutting the number of grid fins from four to three. Critics called it risky, but SpaceX had a reason. The new triangular fin layout, spaced at 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and 180 degrees, aligns perfectly with the rocket's center of mass and Mechazilla's catch arms. Each fin is 50% larger, made from heat-resistant titanium composites, and mounted slightly lower, keeping them cooler during re-entry. The change might seem small, but it redefines control and precision during descent. And here's the twist. Even with fewer fins, the rocket is now more redundant. Each fin is independently powered and can take over control if another fails. Fewer fins, better balance, less drag, and smoother catching. NASA's internal reports described it as counterintuitive but brilliant. Now we reach the real breakthrough. The secret solution, Musk hinted at. The hot staging ring used during a stage separation used to be one of Starship's weak points. It trapped exhaust gases, scorched the fins, and added unnecessary weight. So SpaceX re-engineered it from the ground up. The new version is longer, lighter, invented through a triangular support lattice, allowing exhaust gases from the upper stage to flow cleanly out. Combined with the lowered fin placement, this prevents overheating and structural stress. But the biggest twist? This ring is no longer disposable. It doesn't get jettisoned mid-flight. It returns with the booster. This single innovation makes the booster fully reusable for the first time, solving a problem that has haunted rocket design for decades. NASA officials reportedly called it the moment SpaceX crossed the line from prototype to production. For NASA, the shock wasn't just technical. It was strategic. Starship of V3's projected capabilities already outperform SLS Block 2, a rocket still years away from operational status. More thrust, more payload, full reusability. It's a comparison NASA can't ignore. That's why insiders now talk less about rivalry and more about collaboration. The truth is simple. To reach the moon and Mars affordably, humanity must rely on reusability. And SpaceX has proven it's possible. Still, not everyone in Washington is celebrating. Some see Starship's rapid progress as a disruption that could reshape funding, partnerships, even NASA's identity itself. Behind all these breakthroughs lies a simple idea. Progress through iteration. SpaceX doesn't fear failure. It uses it. Every explosion, every test, every burned engine adds to a growing library of knowledge. That's why Starship Mi-3 feels different. It's not built for perfection. It's built to adapt, to evolve through trial. Every bolt and sensor is designed for rapid recovery, quick analysis, and the next flight. It's an approach NASA once took during Apollo, but later abandoned. Musk revived it and supercharged it with modern data analytics and AI-assisted testing. The result? A rocket that learns faster than bureaucracy can catch up. The next flight will decide everything. Flight 12 is expected to integrate every major V3 upgrade, Raptor 3 engines, redesigned fuel system, new grid fin layout, and the revolutionary hot staging ring. If successful, SpaceX will immediately begin work on Starship Phi 3B, the first vehicle designed specifically for the Artemis lunar landing missions and early Mars cargo flights. For the first time in history, the pieces of a true interplanetary transport system are not theoretical. They're welded, tested, and standing tall in Texas. Every flame, every re-entry burn, every thunderous landing brings humanity one step closer to a reusable path to Mars. When Musk said SpaceX had found the solution, he wasn't exaggerating. He was describing a turning point where design, data, and daring all aligned. Flight 11 proved what didn't work. Starship Phi 3 exists because of it, and the next flights will decide if this solution truly changes history or becomes the boldest experiment ever attempted in rocketry. So what do you think? Is this the breakthrough that makes Mars inevitable?
or just another step in SpaceX's long, fiery evolution? Drop your thoughts below. Space Corps reads every comment, and this time, we might just be witnessing history unfold in real time. What this means is clear. Flight 11 wasn't just a success, it was the turning point. SpaceX has turned years of trial and error into real progress, and Starship 53 is living proof that innovation through failure works. Every upgrade, from the new Raptor 3 engines to the reusable hot staging ring, brings us closer to a future where space travel is routine, not rare. And that future is coming fast. Flight 12 will test everything we've just seen, pushing humanity one step closer to sustainable missions to the moon and Mars. If you found value in this breakdown, like this video, share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to Space Hub for more trusted analysis on every major space breakthrough. Turn on notifications so you never miss what's next, because from here on out, the real space race has just begun.